Hi there. It's day 306 of our Through the Bible in One Year. And today we are reading Luke 18, verse 15 through 19, verse 48. We're trying to keep all the stories together. So, let's go. <clears throat> we read most of this yesterday in the other Gospels. So. Some people were even bringing infants to him so he might touch them. But when the disciples saw it, they rebuked them. Jesus, however, invited them. Let the little children come to me and don't stop them, because the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Okay? I assure you, whoever does not welcome the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. Hmm. Well, awe and wonder. Right? The rich young ruler. A ruler asked him, good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Why do you call me good, Jesus asked him. No one is good but one, God. <clears throat> Probably didn't say that in the original, right? You know the commandments. Do not commit adultery, do not murder, do not steal, do not bear false witness, honor thy father and mother. I have kept all these from my youth, he said. When Jesus heard this, he told him, You still lack one thing. Sell all that you have and distribute it to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. After he heard this, he became extremely sad because he was very rich. Okay? Now one of the gospels said that when Jesus heard this, he loved him. Okay? <clears throat> Seeing that he becomes sad, Jesus said, how hard, how hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. For it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. <clears throat> those who heard this one asked, then who can be saved? He replied, what is impossible with men is possible with God. Right? And Peter said, look, we have left all we had to follow you and followed you. So he said to them, I assure you, there is no one who has left a house, wife, brother, sisters, parents, or children because of the kingdom of God, who will not receive many times more at this time an eternal life in the age to come. <clears throat> that, the third prediction of his death. Then he took the twelve disciples aside and told them, listen, we are going up to Jerusalem. Everything that is written to the prophets about the Son of Man will be accomplished. For he will be handed over to the Gentiles, and he will be mocked and salted and spit on. After they flog him, they will kill him, and he will rise on the third day. They understood none of these things. This saying was hidden from them, and they did not grasp what was said. <clears throat> blind man. And the other one said two blind men, and the rest said one. So, As you near, near Jericho, a blind man was sitting on the road begging. <laughs> He heard a crowd passing by, and he inquired what was what this meant. Jesus, the Nazarene, is passing by, they told him. So he called out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Those in front of him told them to keep quiet, but he kept crying out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and commanded that he be brought to him. When he drew near, he asked him, What do you want me to do for you? Lord, he said, I want to see. <clears throat> Receive your sight, Jesus told him. Your faith has sealed you. Instantly he could see and he began to follow him, glorifying God. All the people, when they saw it, gave praise to God. Okay, chapter 19. He entered Jericho and was passing through. There was a man named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector, and he was rich. He was trying to see who Jesus was, but he was not able because of the crowd, since he was a short man. So running ahead, he climbed up a sycamore tree to see Jesus, since he was about to pass that way. When Jesus came to the place, he looked up and told him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, because today I must stay at your house. <laughs> so he quickly came down and welcomed him joyfully. All who saw what happened began to complain. He's gone to lodge with a sinful man. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Look, I'll give half of my possessions to the poor. Lord, and if I have exhorted anything from anyone, I'll pay back four times as much. Jesus says, Today salvation has come to this house, because he too is the son of Abraham, for the son of man has come to seek and to save the lost. <clears throat> hey, the parable of the ten minas. As we were listening to this, he wanted to tell a parable, a parable because he was near Jerusalem, and they thought the kingdom of God was going to appear right away. Therefore, he said, a nobleman traveled to a far country to receive for himself authority to be king and then return. He called ten of his slaves and gave them ten minas and told them, engage in business until I come back. But his subject hated him and sent a delegation after him, saying, We don't want this man to rule over us. At his return, 
Having received the authority to be king, he summoned those slaves he had given money to so he could have find out how much money they made in business. The first came forward. Master, your mina has earned ten more minas. Well done, good slave, he told him, <clears throat> because you have been faithful in very small matter. You have authority over ten towns. The second one came as a master, your mina has made five minas. He said to him, you will be over five towns. And another came and said, Master, here is your mina. I have kept it hidden away in a cloth because I was afraid of you, for you are a tough man, and you collect what you didn't deposit and reap what you didn't sow. <clears throat> he told him, I, have judged you by what, I will judge you by what you have said, you evil slave. If you knew I was a tough man collecting what I didn't deposit and what I didn't sow, why didn't you put my money in the bank? And when I returned, I could have collected it with interest. So he said to those standing there, Take the mina away from him and give it to the one who has ten minas. <clears throat> But they said to him, Master, he has ten minas. I tell you that to everyone who has, more will be given. And from the one who does not have, even what he does have will be taken away. But bring here these enemies of mine who do not want me to rule over them and slaughter them in my presence. <laughs> <clears throat> A triumphal entry. <clears throat> when he had said these things, he went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. As he approached Beth. Bethphage and Bethany, at the place called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples and said, Go into the village ahead of you. As you enter it, you will find a young donkey tied there on which no one has ever sat. Untie it and bring it here. <clears throat> if anyone asks you why you are untying it, say this, the Lord needs it. So those who were, who were sent left and found just as he had told them. As they were untying a young donkey, its owners asked him, Why are you untying the donkey? The Lord needs it, they said. They brought it to Jesus, and after throwing their robes on the donkey, they helped Jesus get on it. <clears throat> As he was going along, they were spreading their robes on the road. Now he came near the path down the Mount of Olives, and the whole crowd of the disciples began to praise God joyfully with a loud voice for all the miracles they had seen. The king who comes in the name of the Lord is the Blessed One. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. <clears throat> Some of the Pharisees from the crowd told him, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. He answered, I tell you, if, if they were to keep silent, the stones would cry out. As he approached and saw the city, he wept over it, saying, If you knew this day, what would bring peace? If you knew this day, what would bring peace? But now is hidden from your eyes, <clears throat> for the days will come, come on when you are come on you when your enemies will build an embankment against you surround you and hem you in on every side they will crush you and your children within you to the ground and they will not leave one stone on another because you did not recognize the time of your visitation hmm. cleansing the temple complex he went to the temple complex and began to throw out those who were selling he said it is written my house will be a house of prayer but you have made it a den of thieves Every day he was watching the temple. He was teaching in the temple complex. The chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders and the people were looking for a way to destroy him, but they could not find a way to do it because all the people were captivated by what they heard. Oh, there you go. So <clears throat> that's day three hundred and six. And tomorrow we are reading Mark eleven and John twelve. Another triumphal entry, Palm Sunday thing. Baron Fixture, we've read that before. This cleansing the temple context, barren fig tree is withered, Messiah's authority challenge, yeah. And uh, tomorrow will be a good long read, so, and it's a Saturday, so we can do that. So there you go. That's day 306 through the Bible in one year. Catch up on any may I miss. The New Testament started on the, on September 30th, so. But we've been doing this all year long, since January 1st, and we'll continue to the end of the year. Nope. Till tomorrow, we'll continue. See you then.